Okay, so <clears throat> we have the listing in place and as we said we need to handle this create as well. So quickly let's do that. Where is our form? This is the input box and yeah so first things first we need to do some model binding v model uh, we will call it playlist name okay sounds logical so it's empty by default and i'll need one more which is is private you know for Um, the checkbox so in here this is going to be by default false because I think you know, we have said nothing will be private by default in our you know, migration as well so we'll keep that as a standard okay um, so yeah these two things are here what we can do is in our form v on submit dot prevent we'll call a function which is let's say what do we call that function uh, handle save playlist maybe handle save playlist okay oops we'll have it here console dot log what are the two things playlist name right this dot playlist name this dot is private you know what these are very small things i'll directly do the post so let post data equals so let's pull up our controller playlist controller and see what no are the key which we are expecting name and is private so name and is private okay I think the P is capital in here so I'll keep that same thing and I'll have this in place I'll have Axios post no another post will be to slash API playlist send the post data response okay um, in the response for now we will do this dot playlist playlist name is it that equals empty and playlist name right right and we'll just we're sending the playlist right yes yeah, so this dot playlist dot unshift oops response dot data okay let's see you know, how we are able to you know, I mean whether the code works or not I've written a lot of it so test playlist hit enter uh, okay um, it's coming on top which we can fix later but yeah I think we have the basic functionality in place let's say private PL hit it and we are capturing is private one I don't want a button and so I'll keep this thing on enter right now um, the button might you know screw up the layout so now this is you know ready with you know whatever the theming I have but I need some basic theming uh, CSS um, you know for this to come as a you know popover Okay, I'll just paste that and I'll explain you, um, you know, what the basic stylings are in this, you know, wrapper. All right, so 
a little bit of CSS which you can find on GitHub when I you know, post the code in the description. But a very you know, simple things. You know, I've done some positioning, a little bit of Zend index, padding, you know, basic stuff. I'm anyways not very good with CSS. Uh, I know uh, just a little bit, and that's what I you know, tried to apply whatever i have and that's about it what i was able to get okay um i'll be you know happy with whatever i have right now and the only thing is i'll add the behavior of close as well so this should be added here as well hit refresh and yeah why is this private coming here shouldn't it just stick there okay will that diff make a difference no it's not hmm so this is a column 7 thingy and uh, wonder what's happening so i have this and i have this if i make this five is it oh okay okay i, I got it it's a, <laughs> it's a blunder okay um anyways so the pop-up and the private is coming here which is fine i think i can bump it to eight again and that should work right come on yes so yeah things are you know moving ahead we have our basic um you know playlist thing i can add playlists and I can make them private uh, so yeah in the next video we oh by the way why don't we do a small little thing which is in here I'll have cursor uh, what is that cursor pointer if I'm not wrong I'll need to add this particular class you know where it's where is the close text yes so cursor in here and one over here i think that should you know give the user an indication that you know, it's something to click on yeah this is correct okay i can click and close it so in the next video we are going to you know, work on adding you know individual videos to a playlist for example you know i'm on this particular video so i would want this to go inside someplace here so how do i do it and also as i told you you know i'm mimicking mimicking a timeout you know to delay the load of data why don't we have a you know, small preloader there so that you know it gives a better you know, feedback so that's something which we are going to touch in our next videos Thanks for watching guys. If you like the video and the series, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.